Hey everyone and welcome to the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. And this is the place where you can develop your ninja skills with all of your favourite creative cloud, desktop and mobile design apps. In this movie, we're going to create a calendar in InDesign using text styles. And this is based on a request from Rosebud, hey Rosebud, uh, on the channel. Now, there are scripts you can get to create calendars for InDesign, but if you did want to do this manually, then it doesn't have to take that long, as I'm going to hopefully show you right now. So I'll create a new InDesign document for this, and what I'm going to do is go for an A4 document. I'm going to put this into landscape mode for mine and turn off facing pages just here and actually I'll set up uh, my margins uh, because I've got something in mind if I unlink them. Uh, so I'm going to have 30 millimeters at the top. I'm going to have 25 down at the bottom. I'll have 20 on the left and 20 on the right. Although of course your measurements may be completely different and that's just fine. So if I hit create, my document is ready. And the first thing I want to do here actually is to go to the master page and set some things up. So command J A return is the quickest way for me to get to the master page. That's the go to page or jump to page as I like to think of it command followed by the number or letter associated with the page and hit return very, very fast. So I'm going to get the type tool and what I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to set the typeface or the font that I want to use throughout this document, which is uh, going to be freight text. So if I just do freight text pro from Typekit, perfect. That's great. Semi bold is the only um, font of that I've got installed in here, but I'm going to drag out a frame like so and into that. I'm going to type September. Uh, there we go. I do that uh, as habit, really, because it's like the longest month in terms of width when it's typed, I believe. Uh, so I've just done it automatically, type it as September. So I'm going to create a paragraph style for this because this is the key to everything in this particular uh, movie. And I'll call this one month like so. And in my basic character format, I've clicked into the field. I'm holding down shift and just hitting my up arrow to jump up in increments of 10. 50 is pretty good. I'm just going to go a little bit further. In fact, I'm going to go with 54 just there. I'm going to change my character color here to black, but at 30% because, of course, the important stuff with a calendar is what you write on it, not the presentation or, or color of uh, the text there. So now I've got that, I'm going to create another text frame. In fact, what I might do just before I do that is actually set that up. I'm just going to do Command B here and get that to align to the center. I think that's kind of nice. So that will sit nicely in that frame like so. And if I needed to, I can make the frame a bit bigger as well. In fact, if I wanted it to be exactly between those two, I could do just that. There you go. So I'm going to create another text frame now. And in that, I'm going to create another paragraph style. So if I type uh, like Monday in there, for example, and select that, and I'll start off by applying the month style to it, but then create a new paragraph style. So this one's going to be called day. Okay, and it's going to be based on months. So the only change I need to make here really is to the size. So I think that's going to do just fine at about 26, 27, something like 27 is exactly halfway. Do you know what? I'm going to go up to 30. So it's just over halfway. Excellent. That's done. So now we've got a style for the days. And now we need to create one for the dates. So back up to the paragraph styles choose a new style. This one will be called uh, dates. Okay. Based on day, which is just fine. The only change I'm going to make here, because I'm going to keep the size exactly the same, is to go to bullets and numbering and change the list type to numbers. And then in the number field just here, I'm going to remove uh, this short code for uh, a tab character and the period that's following the number. And if I tab away from that, you can see now there's just a number uh, being applied there. If I hit OK, 
What I can then do is get rid of that text frame. It's served its purpose. And we'll go back to page one. Command J, one, return. And there we are, we're there already. And just show you, it's the only page in this document. And that's how we got between those two very, very fast. So the first thing I guess I'd do here in reality is shift command or shift control click on the master item there to override it. And a good idea would be to start it with January, I guess. And then I'm going to create another text frame on the document. Now I'll just hit escape here and just size that out to the margins. OK, that's great. And I'll double click in there to start editing it up to the table menu and insert table. So what we're going to have here is we're going to have six body rows and seven columns and one header row. So let's hit OK and we've got that. Perfect. I'm then going to select the body rows like so and change the height here to exactly and then just dial that up. I think it's going to be about 25, I think. Ooh, 24 and a shade but then again I need to make the top a bit higher I think what I'm going to do is go with 23.5 let's have a look at that pretty good just going to manually scale the top out like so brilliant okay so the first thing I'm going to do here is to create a cell style for the body rows so we'll go up to the cell styles and new cell style OK, and I'll call this dates just here. And the only thing I'm going to do is to apply the dates paragraph style to that. If you wanted to, if you wanted to do anything like change the alignment. So if you wanted to align the text to the bottom and set a little bit of an offset to set it in just a bit. So if I wanted to put I'll do that, actually, I'll just put a bit in from the left. Let me unlink those or zero them out and then unlink them and just put a bit in on the left like so, then you could do that. And that means it will sit down in the bottom, which is normally where they are on most calendars, I think. But of course, yours might be different. And now that's pretty much ready to go. I just need to apply it to the body rows, of course. Now, you won't see any change at the moment. But as soon as I hit the uh, space bar here, then of course that immediately triggers a paragraph. Now, there's a little bit of editing to be done there because if you look at that, that is actually sitting right on the bottom. So I think I'm going to go and change the options there for the alignment. So if I just add a bit of bottom alignment here, let's turn preview on so we can see it. Let's dial that upper shade. There we go. That's nicely balanced, I think. Just there. Excellent. Disaster averted. Now we'll go to the uh, header rows just here, and I'm going to create a cell style for those as well. So we'll just call this header like that. Apply the paragraph style of day to that. That really is all I'm going to do just there. And then we'll just put, I'm just going to put a letter uh, into each one. Actually, if I applied the style first of all, that would work really, really well. There we go. Oh, I need to apply header, not dates. So inside of this one, I think I'm just going to put the caps lock on and tab through and uh, whoops, and make a real mess. MTM. There we go. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, the lead help. <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. OK, you probably want to elaborate on that just a little bit from there. OK, nearly ready to go. Very, very nearly. So I'm going to select this cell that has a space inside of it. OK, and I'm going to copy that. Right. So I've got all of that copied. This will come in very handy in just a moment. I'm then going to click down in the bottom here and don't have to. I could have stayed where I was, but I just feel better doing it. Clicking it down in the bottom here and command nine or control nine to insert rows. And I'm going to add 48 rows afterwards. I know that I've got six rows here and the difference between that and 52 is 46. But trust me, there will be a bit of overspill if I'm giving each month its own page with uh, the same amount of columns and rows. So if I, well, they'll always have the same amount of columns, I guess, but the same amount of rows. So I felt OK. And of course, now that overspills outside. Here's what I'm going to do. Hold down shift and command. That would be shift control on Windows. Click outside of the frame. Tap V to get my selection tool and click on that outflow port. 
okay, to pick up the remainder of that content. I'm then going to delete the frame that is still selected. I'm going to come up to the top here. Let me show the pages panel so you can see there's only one. Okay, so if I just bring up to the top corner, hold down shift to go into auto flow mode and click, you'll see that it's now added enough pages to exhaust all of that content. Brilliant. Okay, so remember I copied that cell, so I'm back in here editing. I copied that cell earlier, so I've got the data it contains, basically one space. I'm going to right click and select all of the body rows and then paste. Okay, so now everything has a sequential number like so and we can get to work. Let's say for argument's sake that the first day of January in whatever year this is going to be, and it will be one of them, okay, starts on a Thursday. So I can clear the data that's in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of that January, and that starts and moves the numbering to there. The 31st would then be on a Sunday, so I can clear these dates, sorry, on a Saturday. And on the Sunday would be the 1st of February, so I can move down to the next page. First thing to do, of course, would be to command shift click on the master page item to override it and then just add in uh, the correct month. So a Sunday, so I'm just going to clear everything from the Monday, okay? And on the Sunday, I'll right click and just choose restart numbering. There you go. And so now all I have to do is clear out the existing cells. Again, it's gonna be a Sunday uh, for March. So command shift click on there, override that, March, pretty much the same deal as before, clear out these cells. And of course, there are other things you could do if you wanted to do less rows, for example, but I'll leave you to uh, figure that out. And if I just do restart numbering, and there you go. That's how you can create a calendar in InDesign using text styles and some other uh, styles just to make it just that bit easier. But for now, we're done. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Reach out to me via Twitter or my Facebook page. You'll get those details in just a moment. Please do spread the word. Keep on watching. And until next time, see ya.